And greetings, everybody. I am Resplendent Seraph, and we are going to be playing more East 6, The Ark of Nepishtim. So the East series is one of my favorites. I have not been shy about that. <laughs> uh, so this is really fun to be able to go through these games and really get to relive them. And this game is one that I have played at least reasonably recently compared to some of the other games like East Book 1 and 2. It had literally been 30 years since I had played that one. So I think the last time I played this was reasonably maybe 2007, so somewhere around there uh, until I lent it to a friend of mine, uh, my, my PS2 version, my original PS2 box. And uh, so anyway, he borrowed it and, uh, you know, he moved, didn't get it back, thought I'd get it back at some point. I really wasn't all that worried about it because his family lived here. We still he still visited a bunch, but. It was just one of those things where I never actually got my PS2 game back. It's um, So I don't even have it on my shelf. I can't even show you. But needless to say, this is the game that revived the series. So East 5 came out for the Super Famicom in good old like 1995. This game came out in 2004 and we are playing the Steam version. So it doesn't have Konami's very localized uh, cinematics, shall we say, the very, very bad CGI that the game was known for. It doesn't have any voice acting or anything of that nature. But nonetheless, this is the game that kind of brought the series back after a good, you know, nearly 10 year hiatus. And so we are going to play that today. So without any further ado, uh, oh, I should give a quick recap of what happened last time. So the story thus far at all, actually, we met. So this didn't actually occur because the cinematic it didn't appear in this game, but just to include for the sake of uh, for the sake of thoroughness, just so you know what's going on, Adol gets approached by this uh, this sailor looking dude in a bar somewhere and uh, asks to come on an adventure. And uh, he's just having dinner with Dogi and they're like, what the fuck? But Roman soldiers show up and uh, they're looking to arrest Adol. And so we're like, uh, OK, yeah, we'll, we'll take you up on that. Let's let's get the fuck out of here. And so next thing they know. You're on a ship, and uh, one of the people that was with this captain looking to hire you, turns out it was Tara from East 5. And she's like, yeah, remember me from Xandria? And of course, for anybody playing the game in North America, we're like, no, no, because we never got East 5. We don't know who the fuck you are. What's going on? But in any event, so it was neat to play East 5 in this series to actually know who Tara was. Needless to say, the ship, as it gets close to the vortex of Kanan, which is essentially just this... Uh, permanent whirlpool around the Kanan Islands, and we get into a reasonable proximity of it. The Roman fleet attacks us, a cannon explodes on the ship, Terra gets knocked off, but Adol grabs her, pulls her back on the ship, another cannon comes through, knocks Adol off, next thing we know, we wake up on an island called Quatera, there are these like elf, elf slash like, um, long-eared tailed creatures, um, and that's when we find out about uh, the various tribe, the Retta tribe that's there. They don't give us the warmest welcome, but we're at all and we're awesome. And we rescue the chief's daughter. And, you know, it's just, just shenanigans like that go on. And at this point, now we're stuck on the Kanan Islands trying to figure out what we might be able to do about this vortex. But what um, what that led us to was the professor. And of course, I'm blanking on his name, but he was in East One. Uh, we met Rabba. So we uh, we reunite with Rabba in Port Remorge, this town of essentially settlers from people who have washed up on shore over the years. It was kind of set up by this Alt Altaginian merchant 10 years ago, Baslam. And so we go to Port Remorge. We meet Rabba again, and he's looking for Ur, and Ur is also Ord's son. And so I'm sorry, we rescue the chief's uh, niece. We rescue the chief's niece, not her, not his daughter. He only has a son. Uh, the two, the two sisters are his nieces. And so, sorry, that was an important clarification. Regardless, Rabba mentions that Ur went up toward, uh, into the field. So we couldn't really figure out what, what's taking him so long. So we go out there, we actually find a cave and in there, someone's like, yeah, we, I saw a weird looking kid, uh, a Retta kid. He was running up towards Granavallis chasing something. So, all right, we gotta go to the mountain. We go to the mountain, Mount Granavallis. We go start climbing the mountain. We find Ur. We actually rescue him. You mentioned that he was uh, following like a fairy type creature. But anyway, he thanks us and he starts to descend off the mountain. And that's basically the story so far. So with that recap 
out of the way. Let's get back into the game here. Let's fire this up. We'll have some fun. I really do enjoy this uh, this game, and the combat system is really good. That's a huge plus. Okay, let's uh, let's there we go. All right, perfect. That's what we want to see. I definitely want to see the game shaxer. Hey, Ghosty, welcome, welcome, welcome. We just kind of fired it up here. Good to see you, my friend. How are you doing? Ah, uh, caffeine. Sweet, sweet caffeine. Let's load this game. Okay. So last... Last we were playing, I think what we need to do is we need to go up the mountain. Oh, we're pretty much killing these things in one hit now. So that's pretty cool. Wow, we've got a shit ton of emil. Uh, but I don't think I can upgrade my sword yet. I think that requires an obscene amount of emil now. Whoops. Let's do that. But yeah, the combat's fun. We get a good jump. There are a couple of bunch. Oh, say so. Uh. Shit. How is it again? All right, there's like a dash jump feature that's going to be important for us to do later. Where is that dash jump? Okay. Jump while executing a lunge attack. Allows to add all the jump further than a standard jump. Okay, but how do I do it? It's not important yet, but it's going to be important. Oh my god, is that going to be important? Um... Jump while executing a lunge attack. Okay, attack immediately after coming to a stop. Uh, if using mouse controls, double left click, then press attack. Okay, so jump while executing a lunge attack. Shit. Yeah, the lunge attack is going to be a problem. How do I do the lunge attack? Oh man, that's gonna be annoying. That is gonna be annoying, chat. So that is the one thing about this game that I fucking hate is this stupid lunge, um, is this stupid ja dash jump thing. And you can sort of see why. Right now it's not that important for us to do it, but we are going to need this jump for the next area. I remember it well. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let me go back in there. All right, we know the down thrust. We know the up thrust. Those are not so bad. But lunge attack. Attack immediately after coming to a stop. Attack immediately after coming to a stop. Feel, oh, man, that's gonna suck. That, that is going to suck. I am not looking forward to the fucking dash jump bullshit. And that's really, really important. Uh, so anyway, doing okay. Sound designing uh, using a selfie from Easy One. I think you've seen him on Twitch somewhere. Yeah, Easy One hangs out in Serum's channel. I've seen. I've seen Izu. Fine. Since they affected me with heavy anyway. Fuckers. Fortunately, heavy doesn't last all that long. That's enough out of you. Ooh, come on. <laughs> F that guy. We're doing a good, decent job against them now. All right, so let's go back up this mountain. Make sure we didn't miss anything. We probably did.
Just make sure there's nothing over here to be had. Just it. Right. But we can go down here. Let's make sure there's nothing up in here. I don't think so. I think this is if we fall somewhere, right? Don't mind me. I'm just kind of figuring out where everything is again. So uh, I import selfie and converted it to a wavetable. You took a picture and imported it? That does sound interesting. Assuming I'm in, I'm, um, I'm interpreting that correctly. Oh, shit. Is this the way I was supposed to go? Damn it. So if you slash them fast enough. Not like that. Uh, they won't do any damage to you. All right, so I'm shaking some rust off already. Ow. Okay, that's enough of that. Fortunately, we are getting a shit ton of Emil, and that's how we upgrade all of our weapons. Yep, let's get away from that guy. No oh, fuck. Okay, we were far enough away from it. I thought he was going to get us there. So a lot of this early going is going to be Seraph figuring out... What's up? Which is fine. <laughs> I can't believe that guy can hit me that hard. Alright, so let's go this way. Yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing here. Oh. I don't think this is the way we want, though. I don't think we're missing anything, but I feel like I am. I hope I'm not missing anything. Hide in here for a quick second. I really don't feel like getting hit by these things. These assholes, those things hurt. Yeah, you can find interesting sounds using images sometimes. That's badass. Never would have even thought about that. All right, so we've hit the midpoint again. This is about where we found Ur. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Little bastard. I wonder if it's easier to use that. That probably is easier. It's a little more fluid. I just switched from using the D-pad to uh, using the uh, control stick. Maybe I'll stick to the D-pad. Not sure yet. I don't think I can hop up here. Oh, I can hop up there. All right, but let's head over this way anyway. But yeah, like that long area to jump over there. I think if I could figure out my dash jump, I could make that jump. Uh, Mick Gordon, Doom Eternal. Uh, computer use the image of 666 to create sounds for some of the music in the game. That's fucking hilarious. All right, so let's head back this way. Let's see if I can jump up over there, because I think there is something important up there if I could get to it. But I can't f seem to figure out the stupid dash jump. Well, I managed to get up here anyway. Well, well I managed to get up here at one point anyway. That works. But yeah, if I could figure out the stupid dash jump, man. Oof. Yeah, that dash jump's gonna be important. Hopefully I figure it out. Ow. 
<laughs> Ouch there. The music is top notch. Up here. I think there was something down here. Have we got it already? Or is it up there? Yep, we already got that. Problem is, I also am trying to remember a lot of this game, and a lot of it, I just... Like, there are things I feel like I remember, but because I'm not all that sure... Like, I feel like we should have another accessory slot by now. And I think I missed it somewhere, but I don't remember where. Is it possible it's in one of these? Could be in one of these. I feel like I tried that last stream, though. I don't see where else it would be. Oh, I must be losing my mind <laughs> through distortion on everything. Yeah, it's an amazing soundtrack. The Doom soundtracks. Oh, what a lucky bullshit shot. Come here, you. That's enough out of you. <laughs> Up we go. Whoops. Ow. Ah, right. And I think if we fall down here... Well, no, actually, I think I want to fall down here. Nope. Damn it. I just wasted my time there. But all right. Now, now I know for sure. Now I know for sure. Bad, Seraph. Whoops. We're going this way. Bow, 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 bow. Oops. Nope, I do need to run around that way to get to it. Shit. No big deal. Back away we come. How do you do the dash jump? I wonder if it's different in this version. I feel like the way you did it before is you had to slash and then point in the direction and then jump again. I feel like that's that was it. But it's it's also been, you know, 15 years. So there's that. Fucking dash jump. Ugh. And there are, like I said, there are one or two spots where you have to do the dash jump. Absolutely have to. So I was kind of hoping to figure it out here. So I'm going to try and do it before we have to do it so that I'm not sitting at a spot just stuck for a while. Whoops. Didn't make it to that one. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Been trying to get... Oops. Tara... Almost got you. Come here, you. Gotcha. Trying to get Kara to do uh, uh, Doom like guitar riffs so I could do stuff with him, but he's busy as of late. Ah. Oh, well, that being the case, let's. In the inventory. Yeah, let's heal. Since you're going to give it to me. Fuck it. Nope. 
I don't think so. Hope we don't play that. Whoops. Man, those things are fucking creepy. I don't think there's... I don't think there's a hidden door or anything over here. Nope, there's not. Ah, uh, all right. Oh yeah, good old East. And then of course, Falcom used this exact engine for uh, Trails in the Sky. So anybody who's played that game knows, uh, will recognize a lot of the, uh, will recognize the look, the general look of this. <laughs> Yeah, this was almost like a carbon, um, oh, all right, we're near the top here. I really thought there was more. Yeah, we're at the peak. All right, well, shit. I really did think there was going to be more than this. Nice. I love the sound here, where you can, like, truly hear it. Yeah, now the, there's, there are these stones. These are going to look more and more familiar as we get through this. Yeah, Kara, damn phone. <laughs> I knew. I knew who you were talking about. Ah. Right. Ord uh, mentioned a mirror that had been stolen, and now we just find a mirror fragment. But now shit goes sideways. <laughs> you dummy. What a little guy like you come all this way up here for. Oh, you want that mirror fragment? Well, I'm already done with it, so... Like, if you want it that badly... <laughs> fucking Jewy. But, you know, getting that mirror was so much work. Everything's just been work, work, work. And work is boring. So sure, whatever. You can have the mirror. But only if you let me have some fun with you first. And she summons this fucking thing. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun watching you squirm suffer and howl in agony. Yep. This this is awesome. <laughs> like you dick. Sorry, try not to get hit by that. Oops. So far, so good. Now you're gonna do, yep, the fairy fire thing. Yep. As long as I'm over here, I'm okay. It's amazing what I remember. Now what the, although, now I don't remember what you generally do. Ow, oh, I still got hit with it. More fairy fire? Yep, more fairy fire. Nope. Oh, shit. Nope. I totally forgot about these things. Oh, fuck. Yep, and now they make little... these little bastards. Damn it. Hey, Seraph, I got an idea. How about you... Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. I just wasted my frickin' uh, special. Forgot what item, I forgot what button did what. Yeah, he hit me a couple of times. Oh, no, 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 no. I got it. Got it that time. Oh, stop sending this shit after me. Damn it, I got that out of there. Oh, give me a fucking break. Stop that. Look, Zonbus. I'm tired of your shit already. And you just showed up. Damn it. You know, Seraph, you could stop getting hit by that. Fuck it. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, that boss gets a little crazy. Oh, look at that. That looks like a nice sword. Ah! <laughs>
What have you done? What have you done? The thing you summoned is what did all the damage. <laughs> I worked so hard to wake it up with the mirror's power and get it to eat the key. And because of you, it was all for nothing. Do you know how much trouble I'm going to be in? You're so going to regret this. Oh. Obtained Brillante. That's what it is. Cool. This is my favorite sword. But you could switch it with uh, just a little trigger on the controller. Bastard. I still feel like... I feel like I'm still missing something here. Could be mistaken. I do feel like I missed something. That's all right. We got... Take that. So now we're going to go to Port Remorge. And Seraph is going to upgrade that cool fire sword that uh, he now has. Wait. You know what? That being the case, maybe... Is there a way up here? I feel like there is, and I just missed it. Mm. Yeah, there's just this. But maybe not. Maybe I just thought we already got an accessory slot. Oh well. Fuck it. I must I must be misremembering after all these years. I wonder if I could kill the bee now. Might be worth save. It might be worth saving and try and fuck up the bee, but I don't think so. What I think we'll do is we'll upgrade the sword first, and then we'll go try and deal with that gigantic fucking bee. Oh hell no, you little bastard! <laughs> I mean, at this point, we got some serious fucking coin. We might be getting close to, uh... Wow, I managed to hit you from there? That was pretty cool. I did not think I would hit you from there. I think I still need to track a little... Yeah, this should be about right. There we go. Marvelous. And just like that, we're already you know, back to Port Remorge. Yeah, let's upgrade the sword first. And then we'll go and we'll see if we can deal with that bee. Oh god, not the bees. <laughs> oh, there's Ur. Yep, I was right. We did have to go to the very top and fight that boss before Ur would show up back in town. Hey, Adol, you sure have a knack for perfect timing, huh? huh. No, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Oh. Ah! You, have, you have no idea how relevant that sound alert is going to be in a very, in very short order. <laughs> I was just telling the professor about you. Thanks again for saving me earlier, by the way. Now, the funny part about this is Ur is telling the professor about us. We know the professor back from East One. So anyway, oh, and the professor I'm talking about is an Eresian scholar who's looking after me at the moment. When I told him about how you rescued me, he said he wanted to thank you too. He lives in this rickety old shack right here, so why not stop by? Yeah, I guess Ur... Just wasn't told this. Oh, come on, this way. Oh, okay. And here we're going to do this. I guess this is just in case I hadn't actually come here and gotten the mission from Raba himself. So anyway, Professor, I'm back. I brought the guy I was talking about with me. Oh, it's you, Adol. Sounds like my apprentice here has found himself in your debt as much as the rest of us. I knew you were the one as soon as he'd mentioned that his savior was a young man with fiery red hair. What? You know him? Indeed I do. We first met long before I washed ashore these islands. Raba explained everything that happened in Darm Tower. <laughs> and it must have taken a while to explain. Wow, that's amazing. I had no idea anything like that had happened. 
A tower as tall as a mountain sounds so cool. I hope I can climb up it one day. No, you don't, Ur. That, that dungeon is freaking crazy. East in their mega dungeons, man. <laughs> oh, you'd likely sing a different tune if you knew how dangerous a place it was. Incidentally, Adol, how did you fare in Granavallis Mountain? Did you find anything of interest? Adol told Rava what happened on the altar at the top of the mountain. A mirror fragment? Hmm. That looks to me like part of the mirror of Zem. Oh, oh, I know. That's the name of the mirror we had back at home. Ola was always looking at it. Hmm. I suppose that settles it then. I believe you said that it was stolen from the village by someone. If that's the case, I fear that red fairy you encountered may be up to no good. So it really was a fairy that I saw. Ola and Isha always took really good care of that mirror. That damn fairy. If I ever find her again, I won't let her get away with this. You will do no such thing. We're talking about an evil being that can control monsters. Only an idiot would try something so reckless. Jeez, Rava, tell her how you really feel. <laughs> but... That mirror is passed down to the priestesses of the Retta tribe, from mother to daughter. I'm sure the priestess would very much like it back, should you find a way to return it to her at all. Alright, so in other words, go back to Isha, or Olha rather, and tell her about the mirror. So the mirror of Zem is passed down to the priestesses of the Retta tribe. Oh, yeah, you're just telling me about that shit. Okay. So let's cruise over here. My mom and dad s <laughs> said they eloped together or something. My mom always says she was the one they should. It'd be so romantic if it was anybody else. But it's mom, so I bet she didn't put much thought into it. <laughs> oh man, I love talking to NPCs. All right, we're gonna talk. We're gonna temper this fucking thing. Hell yeah! Oh, we could actually upgrade Levart to level three. But let's upgrade Berlante as much as we can. We're upgrading this. Yep, upgrade. Hell fucking yeah. All right. Can we upgrade anything now? Ooh, we can. We can still upgrade. Um, yeah, let's upgrade this to level six. Sweet. All right. All right. So now the next time I get around 230, I can upgrade Levart. When Emil is made into Emilus, it takes on a number of colors. There are five. Blue, red, yellow, black, and white. So... One of, to me, the biggest lore contributions, and this may sound like such a small little bit of like, you know, world building flavor, but this line from Liev is so important to the entire lore of the East setting. It is crazy how much this ends up tying together things. So just keep this in mind. Supposedly, they were first created a long, long time ago. Black and white emeliths are meant to be particularly special. So special, in fact, that I was never taught how to create them. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to keep that in mind later. Let's go. You know what? I didn't even notice this was up here. Is there anything up here to do? I think this just allows us to look around. But we're going to hit up Rose's shop and see. Yep. Oh, there's a dude up here. Saud, I was once a fisherman, you know. One day I set out to fish and found myself caught in a beast of a storm. The ship's mast broken and her rudder utterly useless, I drifted further and further west. I knew these waters were forbidden territory, but I was powerless to escape the great Vortex's grasp. Before I knew it, I'd been washed up along these shores. Let's go check out Rose's shop. And then, yeah, we will do just that. We'll head back, talk to, uh... Oh. Let's see, what should I cook for dinner today? The master was oh so wonderful to me earlier. He told me that my only redeeming quality was cooking. That's not... Isn't that the sweetest thing you've ever heard? No. No, Maple. No. No, no, no. Run. Run. Run, Maple. Oh, no. Uh, I've always dreamed of owning my own shop. Never thought waking up on an island would be the key to make that happen. My brother's always grumbling, but he should be proud to have helped make this si his sister's dream come true. Let's see. Yep, we could buy the better shield now. I can't quite buy the breastplate, but let's buy the shield, at least. Yep. And could buy the item that prevents curse. Let's do that. Okay. Let's 
go in here. Let's equip. Yeah, I'd rather prevent curse than anything else. This curse sucks. Um, although maybe we should prevent heavy for now. Let's do that. Let's give ourselves the better shield. Sweet. Cool, cool. Let's head up here and see if anybody's dialogue really changes all that dramatically. Hey there, swordsman. How's it going? Hunting and gathering with Gazelle. Tells me from Bob. Uh, but the thing that got me the most? He's here because he ran away from his lover when her pops wouldn't let her marry. Oh my god. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? I don't think any of this is this. What? Don't look at me, man. Please. Just stop. Let me be a failure in peace. Lovely. Alright, so yeah, a lot of this is still the same. But let's go talk to Baslam real quick. Hey, Lloyd. I've loved Zaxxon in charge of repairing the bridge between here and Corterra Island. But he's reported that some kind of strange monsters have taken up residence at the foot of it. As a result, the repairs are at a standstill. What to do? Ah, that sounds like a job for me. We finally established contact with Quatera Island. Now it's just a matter of getting that bridge fixed. It's one less thing for me to worry about. What's that look for? I might hate the Retta, but I'm no idiot. If it's in both our interests, I'll help them. I'm not going to pass up the chance to make a profit, even if it means trading with someone I hate. That's the way of uh, us Altaginian merchants. Whatever you say, Baslam. But let's head out this way. Fortunately, we know a route to Quatera Island. Hey, Zaxxon. Hey there, new guy. Master Baslam told me to get the bridge up ahead fixed, but some weird monsters showed up and started getting in my way. I tried to get them to clear off, but they caught me off guard and I ended up hurting my arm. I'm not going to be moving from here for a while. So let's save, just in case these... Just in case Seraph is biting off more than he could chew. Let's find out. I don't remember this being particularly hard. Oops. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I forgot how annoying these things could be. Careful. Is that the last of them? Is there any more? I think that's the last of them. Let's head back up here. Make sure there aren't any others up here. And then we'll talk to Zaxxon. We should get some money for that. Should. I don't know if we do. We should get some money for that. Plus, I'd like to go back to the stone monument and heal up. Yeah, I kind of forgot how annoying those things are. But it was not instant death. That's good. You got rid of those monsters hanging around near the bridge? I can't believe it. You're made of sturdier stuff than you look. I can see now how you were able to get through that passage in one piece. You said your name was at all, right? If you get the chance, let Lloyd knows you took care of those monsters for us. He should give you a nice reward for the work you've done. I will do that. Let's do that. Let's go this way. Let's talk to Lloyd. Hey, buddy. You defeated the monsters near the bridge for us, you say? Thank you. We're in your debt. If I may, I'd like to give you something in return for your kindness. Hmm, let me see. Is this here of any of use to you? I once used it myself, but I think it would serve you much better. Oh, I don't remember what this does, but let's take a look. Now we should finally be able to begin repairing the bridge. I must start gathering people to assist us right away. Oh, excuse me. All right, well, let's see what that does. I'm assuming it's an accessory. Yep, it is. Increases gold obtained by the wearer. Let's do it. Yeah, I could definitely, definitely use some gold again. <laughs> uh, all right, so yeah, let's go talk to... Let's cruise back over this way. Let's head back to Quatera Island. Fortunately, the game... Well, I could fast travel to it and use the uh, Wing of Alma. But Quatera Island, the game is actually not all that big. So we'll just run back to it really fast. You all know me. My aversion to fast travel is legendary.
wasn't going to kill those things, but since they did some damage, fuck them. <laughs> so now we have the key. Interesting that they used the word key. So if we tried to use this door now, it would actually let us in. But for right now, I want to talk to Ord. Or I want to talk to Isha, rather, now that I've got... Whoops. That's if we fall. Stupid ass spiders. These things are so annoying. These ruins are pretty fucking dangerous. Since we are right here. Get my two hit points back. And yeah, maybe we will switch to this. It is a little faster. Seriously? What are you gonna do? Poison me more? Fucking thanks. <laughs> it is fun one-shotting things, though. Shows just how far we've come. Oops. Right. This away. Man, I do a lot of damage to these things now. Hey, Crosshair, greetings, welcome. How are you? Hey, sir, if I'm back, just got Gears of War Ultimate Edition, nice. Yeah, Gears of War is awesome. Hey there, Adol, you popping back here for a visit? You should go see Isha while you're still here. She's been coming by my post every single day to ask if you've been back yet. I bet she'll be all smiles around you. She should be over at Moonset Shore right now. Ah, she's over at Moonset Shore. Okay, fine. I'm glad I talked to that dude. Otherwise, I would have gone through the whole village looking for her and being like, where the fuck is she? <laughs> yeah, Gears of War was awesome. Uh, I think Olha. Yep. At all. I'm so glad you're safe. I had a really scary dream. In it, you fell from the top of a mountain. Uh, no, that fucking happened, Isha. And then you fought a crabby looking bat monster. Okay, so uh, at this point, we had heard about Isha's various visions, but now we know she has visions. We got next gen version of Gears of War. Yeah, the next gen version is nice. You talk about the remake, right? Yeah, I've seen that. It 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 it's a fun game, and it, they did a nice job with the remake. And then you fought a crabby little. Oh, right, Bat Monster. It really happened, didn't it? Yes, it did, Isha. Sorry, I've always been like this. I see visions, dreams of things that are going to happen, no matter what. They always happen. When I first met you, I saw a vision of the monster that appeared at the fountain. That was why I was avoiding you. I was scared of that. But I couldn't bring myself to tell Olha about it. She's got enough to worry about. I didn't want her to add, you know, I didn't want to add to her problems. Yep, remake, yep. It's nice. It's it's great. I highly recommend anybody that likes those types of games. It's it's it looks really fun. <laughs> You're so brave. You don't look as strong as Uncle Ord or Kuval, but you must be. I feel like no matter how scary my dreams are, you'll make them go go away. I'm really glad you're safe. Yeah, me me too, Isha. Me too. You know what, he did say Isha, but I am looking for Olha here. But we still don't have the uh, artifact that lets us go in the water yet. That's going to be important. So let's head back this way. At this point, we might be able... We might be able to kill these things, but I don't think so. I think we're still a little bit off from being able to kill any of these things. This area, we're not supposed to deal with for a little while. Well, let's just, for my own amusement... Yep, answers that question. <laughs> now, if I avoid enough things, I do remember going up there, and there is a treasure chest that you can get to. Um, but it's been... It's been a little while. I'd rather not 
be going up there dying left and right looking for one treasure chest and just trying not to get hit <laughs> on the way back so I could keep whatever's in it. I don't remember what the treasure chest even has. There's cool. Oh. We'll talk to Silva first. Can't believe we have to work with these damned Eresians to fix the bridge. I won't ignore a request from Kuval. And I'm not going to force to play force myself to play nice either. Here's Kuval. Bit of a challenge, but we were finally able to establish contact with the Eresians. As long as we can put our minds together, that should prove to be a simple enough task. Yep. So, Grandpa says she's training. Ah, right. Yeah, I don't uh, see you guys. I hope my wife isn't causing Sola any more problems, but at the same time, this is the perfect chance for her to gain some confidence in herself. Hey, that's... That is a cool dude. Uh, Winuka messed up and used up too much salt in her dish. Even the chief started coughing after trying it. Yeah, poor Winuka. Winuka did her best to help us out, but making so many mistakes started getting her down. The poor thing. Giving it your best when working is admirable, but in her case, she might be better off slowing down and taking it one step at a time. I love the Winuka side quest, or the, the, the Winuka side plot. Marcus is my favorite Gears of War character. Good choice. Good choice. I don't know what this guy has. Helps close wounds. Yeah, that's pretty decent. I can't afford it, but... Um... Yeah, let's buy another one of those. Just in case I get poisoned again. That does tend to happen. Where does Kuval and the others are planning on repairing the bridge? Sounds of it. Some of them still suspect the Eresians at Kanan Island were responsible. I know everyone back in Remorge quite well. It's hard for me to imagine any of them doing such a thing. Nope. They're quite awake. Right, Kevin. That would not be any of them. Hey, you haven't seen Ryung, have you? Where is Winuka? There's Winuka. I've decided to start helping out here instead after messing up in the in the sh in the restaurant. And this time, this time I'm not going to mess up. Oh, poor Winuka. I swear every single time, the minute he's home, he gets himself pissed drunk and then he's off to collect more junk. Well, he does insist he can't fish half as well as if he isn't drinking. You wouldn't know it, but he's an honest, hardworking man when he's sober, too. Dog said, yeah, you are sauced, buddy. Oh yeah, look at Shug Dave, you should cut a few fishermen too, holy shit. <laughs> Keep seeing old man fishing, but nowadays, it's a little lady going out to she. Sometimes I see him on the opposite shore, he's roosting, he fish out with a box. He's <laughs> funny. Uh, oh yeah, the, right, the twins. Rakshi. Yep, once a year we hold a festival to give thanks to the spirits and all their blessings. Everyone's always busy around then. Personally, I love soaking in the atmosphere at that time of year. Chief has a lot of faith in Kuval. Given a lot of important tasks as the chief representative, you know. My grandson, Kuval. Oh, right. Uh, Kuval is her grandson. Surrounds both helping all the youngsters in the village in line. He's my pride and joy. Also happens to be the strongest young man in the village. Second only to Ord. You're a strong one yourself, but I doubt you're as strong as he is. Well, you're right to think that, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> Although Kuval is... Kuval does know what the fuck he's doing. Ah, oh, Adol, I see we're able to make it through the underground passage safely. How did you find the town? Adol told Chief Ord everything that happened in the town, including how he met Ur. Is that so? Did you truly save my son? Sorry, I hit the button a little fast. Forgive me for the trouble no doubt caused you. You should be well aware that straying somewhere far too dangerous for the likes of him could lead to disaster. Robert must be a man of endless patience to keep watch over him as he does. Leaving that aside, I don't suppose you were able to discover anything regarding the mirror, were you? Adol showed Chief Ord a fragment of the mirror while explaining how it came into his possession. Indeed, this is the mirror of Zem. Broken and Nora, you have found exactly what we've been searching for. The debt of gratitude we owe you appears to grow by the day. Still, I wonder what that strange fairy you mentioned was trying to do with it. I've never heard of the mirror being used to revive giant monsters before. I fear something terrible is beginning to happen in this land. Something far more terrible than we can imagine. Yeah, and you are right with that, Ord. <laughs> but never mind that now. Would you mind returning that fragment to Olha? She will surely be overjoyed to have it back. Let us do that. Oh, hello, Adol. Did you come to see us? Either way, I'm happy to see you again. You know that you're always welcome here. 
How did you find the Eresian town? Adol explained everything that happened in the town, including how he met Ur. Oh my. Sounds though a lot have happened since your last visit. Still, I'm just relieved to hear that he's alive and well. By the way, it looks like we'll be working with the townsfolk to repair the bridge. I'd like to think that this is what will finally bring our people together. But only time will tell. Adol gave a mirror fragment to Olha. It, is this? It is! It really is! It may be broken, but I would recognize Mother's mirror anywhere. I... I'm sorry. I'm just so happy. I never thought I'd see it again. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to see to me like that. You should know that this mirror is very important to me. It's been passed down to priestesses of our tribe for generations. It's said to contain the soul of Alma, but above all, it is a memento of the former priestess, my late mother. I'm so grateful that you were able to recover it for me. It's not nearly enough to repay for what you've done for me, but I would appreciate it if you accepted this. That is nice. We will take that. This means more to me than you could ever know at all. May the blessings of Alma always be with you. So yes, let's max out our defense. Increase our defense by a permanent plus one. Please and thank you. All right, at this point, now let's... Okay. Hmm. Okay, there are spirit monuments there. I just haven't activated them. Uh, let's just start with the plates. I want to try fighting this bee. I think we're going to die to this bee, but I want to try to fight it. <laughs> I want to try to fight the bee because I think it has something important. I just don't remember what it is. Right, I forgot you could charge it. I totally forgot you could do that. <laughs> Damn it. Taking stupid damage here. Oh no, this is the cave. I do not want to go to Limewater Cave. At this point, the next area is to go into uh, the area with the sword. That's why they gave you Berlante. So the cave is still going to be too hard for us, but... I am curious about this stupid fucking bee. My suspicion is that when I go up here, this bee is still going to kill us pretty bad. But... What the fuck, why not, right? Bees. Ugh. Bastards. Ow, ow, ow! Damn it. Uh, okay, let's switch the equipped item. Yeah, let's switch to that. Yep, nope. Get out of here. Ow, ow. Okay, yep, we died. Okay, yep, not even close. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, new plan. Let's let's go this way. <clears throat> and let's go down in that other area. <laughs> That's why we saved. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was hilarious. Um <clears throat> That is why we saved. Right? Yeah, I'd equipped all that. Yeah, okay. Well, it is what it is. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. So down here we go. Let's go check this out, shall we? Oh, 
Okay. So now where we we're supposed to go... Suddenly, Adol's sword resonated with the door. Uh, yeah, we can't can't open that one, but now we know that there's going to be a yellow sword of some sort. Oh, that's a totally different name. This was the Ruins of Amnesia. Now they just call it the Ruins of Lost Time. That's fascinating. Huh. Alright. Give me two seconds, chat. Let me uh, run downstairs. Let me grab a new soda. And I will be right back. Sorry about that, everybody. Sorry about the wait. My cat needed some stuff while I was getting a soda. My feline co-host has been awfully quiet, but at least this time she waited for me to uh, actually run for a soda refill before deciding, Hey, hey, Seraph, I, I, I need attention, and I need pets, and I need a little more food, and I, and, <laughs> like... Okay, cat. Yes, ask for all the things now. <laughs> but yeah, now that she's awake, she'll probably be wandering in here in a little while because chaos is uh what she's good at. Let's uh yeah. 
make sure we save. Alright. Fuck, this is where I need to do the dash jump, uh... I think that's it, but that doesn't, doesn't seem like, <sighs> dash jump, dash jump, jump while executing a lunge attack, attack immediately after coming to a stop, double left click and press attack. I almost wonder if I should try it with the mouse. Jump while executing a lunge attack. <sighs> oh, I think that's it. That's just... Maybe that's it? I don't know. That seems like the same amount of jumping distance to me. Either way, these ruins look awesome. I guess we'll find out. See, here's the problem. <laughs> oh, that's not an NPC. Okay, yeah, that takes a lot. And you could fall off everything here. Does that kill me? Nope, but it brings me down here. Okay, so you guys are gonna drop that. Let's equip that. Thank you. fall over there to get to wherever that treasure chest is. Good deal. We're going to be doing a lot of falling. <laughs> in case I haven't given that much of a... In case it hasn't been clear, we're going to fall a lot. <laughs> we're going to fall a lot because we're going to have to figure all this shit out. But yeah. A lot of falling. wanted that thing, buddy, but whatever. <sighs> now I'm remembering. So now we're back up on it here. And so, yeah, anytime we fall down any of these areas, it's bad. Oh, okay. Or just go that way. It's cool. Oh shit, shit. Take this. Alright, we got some wild foul meat. Whoops, shit. Alright, well, fuck it. Now this way we go. Keep an eye on that. Once we get to 2.30, we can upgrade Levart again. And we shall. I 
Give me some honey, bastards. Damn it. Oh, well. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back and get to... I'm gonna try and run back to the uh, sanctuary. Ow, fucker. Ow, damn it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna say that. If I oh, I thought I was in the next room. Shit, shit, shit. shit. <laughs> oh god, why? At this point, I'm trying not to die here. But I'm also trying not to waste my items. Try and do that again, this time without... I don't remember a lot of this being so difficult, but... Alright, so this time... I think what I should do... Ah, Fuck. Damn it. Well, at least I got you to... No! <laughs> I know I said we'd be doing a lot of falling. We're doing more falling than I kind of had anticipated. Trying to get back safely here. This time actually making the jump correctly. It's amazing what happens when you actually make the fucking jump you're supposed to make. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's save. Because we gained two levels in there. So I definitely want to keep the two levels we just got. Because I would suck to die and lose the levels. Let's try that again. But already, much better start. Don't keep running. Okay. All right. So I think if I fall here, it lands. Yep, that's what we wanted. That's what I wanted. All right, the heavy belt. I don't remember what that does, but... That's right, so what I may do here. So I think I know what I'm going to do here. What the soul? Okay. Inventory. The cool part is at this point, if we ever really get into trouble, we could use the wings of Alma to kind of buy, dig ourselves out of trouble. Like, if I think I'm going to die, it's time to just fast travel to, one, to like, this spirit monument and head back to the Port Remorge. Yeah, clearly the difficulty of this game is a little higher than East 5. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, let's... Forge that. That's now better. Cool. Okay. Now we don't have anything to worry about for till 600 ml. Back out we go. I suppose I sh could have done that earlier too when I was kind of stuck down there, but 
I'd forgotten about the Wing of Alma. <laughs> Good news is the more... Oh, let's also take a look and see what that is against. Let's see. Durable, but a pain to wear. Equipping causes heavy. Okay. So if we want to take advantage of the defense plus six, what we do is we do that and we... Uh, counter it with the Sylvan Boots. That way you could wear the Sylvan Boots and this and gain defense plus six. Which definitely tells me I missed an accessory slot because there's an item that upgrades the number of accessory slots you have. Like at some point there are a possible five of them. I must have missed one on the mountain somewhere. Where the fuck did I miss it? Maybe off stream what I'll do is I'll go back to Mount Granivalis and I'll try and find where I missed it. I don't want to waste any more time on stream looking for that accessory item. I, but I could swear it's out there somewhere. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. And I do love the music of this area. Yeah, and you really get the scale of the area we're walking in with that. A little concerned about the dash jump. And by concerned, I mean I'm very, very concerned. Because there's a jump up here. I may have to switch tabs for a minute, just in case the uh, instructions on the Steam page are wrong here. Fuck. We gotta kill that thing first. Yeah, you earned that 20 hit points you got me. But you're dead anyway. Okay. Okay, so now when we drop, we go to a completely different area now, I think. Oh, fuck. Let's just, let's just see where we go. What the fuck is this? Oh, lovely. I can't damage you at all. That's super awesome. All right. I need to land on that. Let's see if we can do that. So this is the way up. I don't think there was anything over there. Jesus. Fuck. Might be time to do Wing of Alma and go back there again already. Isn't it? Uh, now let's just do that. It'll be fine. Seraph, try not to get hit like that again. <laughs> Alright, we gotta do this shit again. Oh no, we didn't do this shit at all yet. Yeah, see that? I think we have to do the dash jump to get to that. Alright, okay. No, no, no. No, I wanted to jump. That's where we need to go to land on that. I don't remember what it is. But I think we want it. Pretty sure we want it. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Why is it not jumping? Ugh. That's so lame. Al's just falling. I don't think I need the dash jump there, though. So that's the good news. I don't think. God, I hope not. It sucked. He's not jumping! He's not even jumping at all! Hmm. Like, I, knew to, I need to at least be going in that direction, though. Yeah, because if you change direction, you're not going to make it that far. I have to be. Unless I'm jumping to... Maybe I'm jumping to, uh... Something for you. Okay. Yeah, I don't make it in time. You've got to make it over there. And it's in the middle. Unless that's one of those spots I need the dash jump. Maybe I do need the da dash jump for that. Oh. Fuck. I hope I don't need the dash jump for that. What are you doing? Thank you. That was almost really bad. Okay, so you can jump over there. Now there's an invisible, uh, whoops. Oops. Damn it. Go. Got it. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I didn't think we needed. So yeah, I, I was pretty sure I didn't need Let's see. Made from Demigalva's bones raises strength at the expense of defense. Oh, it's not even all that great. Like, it allows me to do more damage, but I don't know if I even... I don't even know if I like the Galva hand, actually. Because I don't want to take all that much damage. I do enough damage. Yeah, for now, we're going to we're gonna pass on that for now, I think. Wow, I said I did all that for an item I'm probably not even going to wear. Whoops. Uh, let's heal. Let's heal and try that again. But we're getting further in. We're getting we're getting experience. We got an item. We got the item I was looking for. It just wasn't what I remember. The other item that's that I do remember is probably the fucking thing we need the uh, dash jump for, which really, really sucks. Fuck. Yeah, I got too close to the other one. Did I, oh, that one's the one that zapped me. Fucker. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Very concerned about this dash jump. Hey, cat! money also that's important okay no 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 why why am i having so much trouble with at all with jumping it's, like i'm hitting the button it just doesn't want to register am i am i hitting it too late like i'm I'm hitting the button when I want him to jump. And he, yeah, if I if I hit it that early, he doesn't make it. So I need him. I need him to jump when I need him to jump. I can't be hitting that button too early. It's the one th that is the only problem with this game. The platforming, especially with the fucking stupid ass uh, dash jump really sucks. No! Damn it. 
I don't even know if that's what I even want to be doing right now. Because I think what that does is it leads me to an area that I do need to do the dash, if, it, if I'm remembering it right, right? Let's see if that even, if it's, if it's even what I think it is. Right, because that leads you up here. So that leads to that spot. No, 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 why doesn't it fucking jump? Some of these falls are unnecessary. If it would just register the fucking button, and I know it's not the controller, it's, it's the engine. I, I remember having similar issues. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I remember having similar issues with the PS2. It's just kind of aggravating. <laughs> Alright, so right. Okay, so this way, if I could. Yeah, that's the dash jump spot. So, um, if I could kill this guy. Yeah, I was hoping to kill him. Damn it. What an asshole. <sighs> All right, so that spot, what you need to do is you need to jump to that platform but then you need to do the dash jump to get to that door on the other side. And there's an invisible platform next to it. Um, but I'm pretty sure you need to dash jump to get to that door. So for now, why don't we just try to continue, see if I can get to a frickin' yeah. I'm kind of wounded here. Let's use one of those. Let's try not to fall here. I hate this thing. Very easy to die and fall here. Let's do that again. This fucking floor. We have another dash jump. It's actually right up there. But let's clear the let's let's clear the riffraff first. And it's to get to that treasure box right there. It's super annoying. Shit! Okay, thank god. Thought I fucked up there. Okay, so I think if we fall, this is the area that we come up. So I don't want to mess with that right now. Let's hop over here. So if we go up here... And the idea is... No! God damn it! Stop it! No! Don't kill me! No! Oh my god, there's so many of them! I forgot how annoying these things were, and I can't kill them all that fast either. Jesus Christ. Hell. Oof. Alright, so yeah. Uh, but that spot down there, if you just jump, you cannot make it to that treasure chest. And what's in there, I think, is the bloody nail. And that allows you to heal as you kill enemies. It is pretty awesome. And it's definitely worth getting if we can make that jump. Um, let's see. What is this way first off? I don't remember what's this way. Oh, God. Fuck hell. This way for now. See if I could test the freaking dash jump here, I'd feel a little better about it. Um, I know what it's supposed. I remember what it's supposed to look like too. Um, okay. 
Right. Okay, so I think it's something like that, right? Yeah. You basically tap. Something like that. Oh, there it is. There's that fucking dash jump. Okay. All right. Okay. But you can see how easy it is. We're going to fall a bunch of times trying to make it work. But... Well, let's try. God damn. I hate this so much. Make it. Oh my god, we made it. Oh my god, we made it. Yes. Oh my god, we made it. You know, sometimes it's just my hands are actually sweating from how anxious I was doing that. I thought we were going to do that like 10 to 20 times before it actually jumped over. So with this game also, you know how you have all those difficulty settings? And I was like, you know what? Fuck that. So my experience playing this game on the harder difficulty settings, there's really not that much difference. But what's really different, well, and while that ad plays, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for that ad to play here. Um, we're going to... We're going to go back to the entrance. We're saving because I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again if I can help it. God damn. God damn. Okay. So yeah, now that we've saved. But yeah, I really thought we were going to do that jump like 10 or 20 times. So. Difficulty settings when it comes to E6. My opinion, there's very little difference. Damn it. Okay. Let's just ring of Alma back to the top. Yeah, sometimes if you... the fu I fucked up the jump. See, I was in the air. I fucked up the jump, and then the laser thing was able to knock me off. Yeah, you have to be exact, or they just knock you off, and then you have to scale back up. Um, but yeah, no, the, the, that bloody nail is awesome. Why did I do that? That was really stupid. I may be fucked now. Nope, I'm still okay. We're okay here. Oh, bullshit! I killed it! Ugh. That is cheap. That, that, my friends, was cheap. That was cheap. The game should know it was cheap. Oh, come on, man. Really? Ay, ay, ay. Thankfully, we just gained a level and got our hit points back for the most part, but... That. You. Let's try this again. Ow, I wound up too late. Timing on the jumps is extremely precise. Double kill. That was pretty nice. Thought I was going to get a double kill again. That's okay. Now the question is, do I go for... Do I go for that bullshit? and try to hop up there to get in that door. Maybe, uh, fucking hell. Hey, Sal, greetings, my friend. We're playing East. Welcome, Raiders. Give me a second here. Let's, uh, let's give you a nice little shout out here. Welcome, Raiders. For anybody who doesn't know me, I, uh, 
I am Resplendent Seraph. I am a pseudo variety streamer. Uh, I play mostly RPGs. I play a bunch of Fallout. Uh, lately, I've been playing MechWarrior 5. But right now, what I'm doing is I'm going through the East series, and we're playing East 6. Oh, Ghosty already handled it. Thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate that. Playing party I'm actually not familiar with party animals. How was that? As I get a little bit of a soda here. So greetings, Sal. Good to see you, my friend. Always a, always a pleasure. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> I bet. Uh, is it one of my, one one of those um parkour games? No, party animals probably not. That doesn't sound like a parkour game. Although I did get chained I did get chained forever watching you play that. <laughs> so that was that was pretty fun. Let's switch back to Gabe here while I while I welcome everybody. Uh, around here is my feline co-host. She hasn't actually, you know what? I shouldn't even jinx it. Um, you know, play, I might, I might, in my, in fact, I might just do that. Uh, <laughs> oops, it would help if I actually put the focus back on here. <laughs> Come on, OBS, thank you. You're welcome to. <laughs> she is a nice pussy. Uh, she is an awesome cat. Oh, I, I'm talking to Sal here. Rude. <laughs> Rude enemies interrupting. But yeah, we're we're on a mission. We're on a level where we're gonna fall uh, a lot. Um, and I'm debating whether or not to. Um, whoops. Oh god. Yep. Oh, I somehow didn't get knocked off. That's amazing. So let's see. We could. Yeah, I walked right into that. I did. I walked right into that. It's, oh, really? It hits me twice. That's enough out of you. Okay. So I could. Uh, mm. Oh, nice job, Seraph. Now, do I do I play games with that and try and get to that? I don't remember the path to that. Um, but let's see. Let's try and let's just try and do this once. <laughs> I'm gonna lurk while I wash my face and stuff. Yeah, why, why? Thank you. I appreciate the lurk and greetings, everybody else. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, we're playing uh, E6, which is the game that kind of revised revised uh, this particular suit. It's kind of like a niche game. Um, okay, I could do this jump. I could totally do this jump. I could do this jump. Damn, I wasn't close enough. I didn't have enough confidence in my ability to do the dash jump. But we actually did the dash jump there. <laughs> Ooh, that's the iron. That's the irony there. We actually did do the dash jump there. I just missed it. You know what? I'm going to come back for that treasure chest. I'm... Oh, shit. I should not have done that. That was stupid. But I managed to... Oh... And then I just walk right off the ledge there. Yeah, we're in a level where we we, we were gonna we're gonna we're gonna fall. <laughs> I should just get through this. Ugh. Yeah, let me just get through this if I can. Can't believe it managed to hit me. It sucks. Okay, back this way. This we're gonna do this a lot. No, no, no. Oh. All right, fine. We'll heal. Really didn't want to do that, but I took too many hits. All right, you fire, and then we'll run. Let's just get past it. Let's get past it. Well, let's not do the optional stuff for right now. Let's fucking fight. Man, those things hit so hard. So I don't remember what happens if you fall here. I think we just go down and we have to work our way back up. If not, let's heal one more time. Because this thing is going to be a problem. I'm just going to dodge that. Perfect. Because the end of it is just up here. I think there's a boss fight. But I don't want to fight these guys. They do so much damage. Ow. Oh, right. This area. I totally forgot about all of this. Ha 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 ha! Shit. We're gonna take so much damage to that. Alright, well, let's, let's heal one more time here. Okay. Nope. Oh, ouch. Run through 
going through. Yep, and the boss is up there. I don't remember what the boss has in store for us. Ouch. But we do have a spirit monument, so at least we were able to save. Okay. Let us choose a different item. Shit. No, actually, let's let's keep this and hope for the best. Unless I do this one. Now let's hope. Let's let's keep this and let's hope for the best. Actually, I could go. We could just go back to Port Remorge. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to Port Remorge. Let's buy the better armor. Because at this point, now we can afford that better armor. We'll take less damage. I like the idea of less damage. Ah, oh, we're back. We're finally above 200 hit points. That's also nice. So let's hit up Rose's shop. Sell. Yes. Please and thank you. Whip. Yes. <laughs> yes, that will help mightily. Wing of Alma. Go. Ruins of Lost Time. Yeah, we'll go to the depths. Unless I fool around and try to get to those other areas. Okay. Oh boy. Let's just see what happens here. I do not have a good memory of this boss. But, here we go. Let's grab our mirror fragment, and let's see what kind of crazy monster is going to show up to try to kill us. And let's hope Seraph gained enough levels. So, you must be the swordsman Jui spoke of. Jui was the fairy that summoned the other monster that uh, had swallowed Berlante, our fire sword. Yep, and there's another fairy. <laughs> to think we now ought to have one, but two who seek to thwart our ambitions. Alright, so they're referring to one other. And we're not, and we're not already deplorable enough. You've taken possession of a key. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave alive. You shall perish here. All right, what are you summoning to kill me? You, who stands guard before the cradle, crazed machines sealed within these confines. Your master's return nears. Go forth and fulfill your duty. Behold the amazing, bo the awesome boss music. All right. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Time to jump wrong there. Got it right that time. Okay. Oh fuck, that's right. It, oh, what the fudge is this? Oh no, 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 no. Ow. Okay, this I can handle. Oh, I thought it was going to run up before that. Shit. Okay. So far, this isn't too bad. Although this is unsustainable. Here, over here, asshole. Shit. Oh, damn it. I timed it wrong again. Wow, that was not a good option. Damn it. Fucked up. Damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, you can't be there. Uh, I only have one of those left. I gotta be careful with that. Ah, uh, fuck you. I'll take the critical hit. Ah, oh, you fucker. Mm. This thing's more annoying than difficult at this point. Ah. Uh.
Got it. Cool. Huh, look at that. Forgetting Sarah's Marshall to me. <laughs> There we go. It appears that I may have underestimated you. Doing all right here. But no matter, the path to the sanctum has been opened. It is only a matter of time before the seal is broken. Farewell, red-haired swordsman. We shall settle this when next we meet. All right, so I don't have nearly the amount of, um, of uh, Emil that I did when I first got Brillante here. Well, let's go grab us another sword. Right? Yep. Yeah, this is awesome shit. Going through these, like, super ancient ruins. With all these, like, interesting specimens in there. Definitely a, um... An interesting glimpse into the history of this world that also ends up being a um, precursor to things that will come in other games. But just like that, we've reached the Zemeth Sanctum. So if I go into our inventory and use the map of Kanan, we just reached Zemeth Island. So we managed to now go to all three islands already. Yeah, this place is cool. Beautiful island. And this is also very, uh, there's a lot of foreshadowing going on in this room. So we got red, yellow, and that blue one all the way back there. And look at that, a winged statue. Not like we haven't seen winged statues in other games, such as East 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> a winged statue of white, pure, or pure white, stood before Adol. Suddenly he heard the gentle voice of a woman resounding in the back of his mind. You have come far, brave warrior. My name is Alma. It is I who sealed the Ark. Though my vessel does here decay, my soul yet lives. Oh shit, I didn't read it fast enough. Brave swordsman, savior of my brethren in far off land. I shall entrust to you the final key. Yeah, so Alma is an Eldine. But take heed, noble warrior. For the stolen black key is poised to open the Ark once more. And that is a nightmare which must remain undreamed. Just as suddenly, the voice fell silent. The voice can no longer be heard. But I know something. I'm go this way. I love the music of this area. And there it is. Aracil. That is a cool sword. The thing I like about this one, it's a uh, sort of, it's, it's element is electricity or lightning and it's nice and fast. Of course, it's not bubbled up yet. All right, so now what we're gonna do nothing else to do on Zemeth Island, but now we do have that other door we can now open in the other um, passageway. Huh. Guess you beat me to it. Familiar fate. Yep, here's Geiss. You've been a hell of a busy guy while I was getting myself ready, at all. Oh well, not like it matters. I don't have the right to see her anyway. I'll just have to work with what I've got.
don't think he's even... Yeah, this part's interesting. Alright. That takes care of all the keyholes. Huh. You still around? Don't worry, these are just insect repellents, you might say. They won't do anything to take care of the real problem. But they should buy us some time at the very least. Anyway, setting that aside, she gave you the final key, didn't she? Guess the legendary at all the reds made us stronger stuff than I gave credit for. But don't go getting cocky now. You're still no match for him. I've said too much. Catch you later, Adol. I'm out of here. <laughs> <coughs> oh, one more thing. Don't try and pull those talismans off. I don't care how dumb you are. There's no way you'd be that dumb, right? <laughs> but I don't think it even lets me inspect it. Oh, it does. A talisman of some kind is affixed to the pillar. Yeah, those talismans, those are really important that they're there. So yeah, now we know that Geis is the other one that the uh, fairy spoke of that's trying to stop whatever bad shit's going on. Granted, we had a we had a feeling Geis was on the level, but... Oh, I thank you, Banderito, for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, these games are fun. I do, I do really enjoy them. Hey, Freakbot. How'd, uh, how did Zelda go? Did you end up beating it in one stream? In late from Sal's stream. Ah, oh, gotcha. Welcome, welcome. We're friendly here. <laughs> I think I've seen you in Sal's stream. We've, hung, we've, we've, we've chatted a bit before. Good to see you. Welcome. Glad you came along for the raid. Thank you for sticking around. I play a bunch of, like, like right now, playing a bunch of uh, old retro games here. We're playing some E6. Now we have all the swords we get in this game. And, oh, good. I didn't stay in the damn... Yep, okay. I'm like, how long does it take to take damage from that? And I'm like, okay, it does actually take a second. But I can go in the lava briefly. You know what? Let's save. Let's save. And I think I'm going to try... Just one more... Jesus. Got how absolutely bonkers this room is. Damn it. That was my fault. I shouldn't have even tried to kill that thing. <laughs> I knew better. Still can't hit that, right? Nope. Still can't hit that. Nope. Not even trying. Those things do so, so much. Totally spanked Ganon. Nice! Yahoo! Oh ho ho, we stunlocked the fucker. I don't think that's the way we want to go. Just for my own amusement. Ah, that gets me to here. Okay. Ah, there we go. Got an additional accessory slot. Okay. Now, some... Damn it. So there are a couple of invisible platforms there. And I don't remember where they are. But if I did, one of the things we could have done is jump over it. So, <laughs> one of the things that goes on also over there. So that area we just got to that platform and then dropped down. Okay, now that I know how to get to it, we can just go the long way around. But what you do is you jump once... I think, and then you're on an invisible platform, and then you dash jump over an actual legitimate gap. We reset 15 times. I think I'd clocked in a little over three hours. Hey, I mean, that's crazy beating the game in three hours. It took me 11 hours to beat that game. So that's, that is crazy time. That is awesome. Congrats, man. Congrats. Um, So yeah, this in this particular case for that platform, once you get over to the... So then you dash jump and you land on an, another invisible platform on the other side of that gap. And then there's a doorway. If you go through the doorway, you actually f are in the same room as the toughest boss in the game. I'm not even kidding. It's harder than the last boss. It's fucking ridiculous. You have to be like level 60 or 70 to even stand a chance against the fucking thing. But 
There's also a treasure chest in that room. So if you can avoid that crazy optional boss hitting you, you can run over to that treasure chest and get what's in it and just run the fuck out of that room. And back when I was playing this game on the regular, I would do that. But it's been like 15 years. I just don't remember the fucking pattern. Now, later on, we're going to get an item that will allow us to see those invisible pa those invisible platforms. And at that point, we'll then come back here and do that. We're just not going to do it now for what I feel like should be fairly obvious reasons. Okay, so now we're going to uh, allow me to regain hit points by killing enemies. Fuck yes. Hell yeah, with the accessory slot. We rule. Woohoo! You're dead. Up. Yeah, I knew I mistimed it when I fucked up. Hmm. Seraph's nose is itchy. Give me a second, monster. There we go. Now I'm ready to kill you. <laughs> think there's one more nope that's it probably would have been less if i didn't give in the urge to open every treasure chest i mean opening treasure chests doesn't really take that much time i mean yeah probably but i mean you're not going for any of those like crazy speed run records of like an hour and a half you know if you were going for the hour and a half speed runs i'd be like all right yeah that would be a problem but uh for three hours it's really not that big of a deal Now we'll switch to this, and we'll find out what's in that other room. Oh, right. Let's head out. Let's over to Port Remorge for... Oh, it's right here. Let's do it. Suddenly, Adol's sword resonated with the door. Let's find out what's in here. I don't actually remember what's in here. Oh, the rainbow fragment. The thing that uh, allows us to see invisible platforms. Ah, oh right, we got a blue tabula last time. I didn't actually even look at it. Let's take a look at those. Where is, yeah, let's take a look at that. Can't decipher. Can't decipher. Okay, well, fine. So we got another mirror fragment. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's... Actually, we're this close. Let's just run it. Hey, Serum, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. We are playing E6. I really do enjoy this game, it, despite its some of its flaws. Um, it's a little rough around the edges, because it's the first game they used this engine on. <laughs> right, Ghosty? <laughs> but we're having fun with this so far. It's coming together. So let's go back to Quatera. Talk to the uh, half elf, half uh, were creatures. I am good. I'm Seraph is doing very well this evening. Okay, I think we. Whoops. Oh, and you poisoned me. That's super lame. <laughs> Can't believe. Can't believe that thing poisoned me. That's. But now that we're in an earlier part of the game, we kill everything in one hit. How is Serum this uh, morning for you? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, give me more of those antidotes. I should just use one of those antidotes, but whatever. You notice, though, now that we've got the bloody nail, we're healing at uh, a faster rate than we're taking damage. <laughs> more giant bees. So, no, um... Well, not yet. We actually fought the giant bee and we couldn't damage it at all because we were so much lower level than it. So we we bravely... Well, no, I think it killed us. We didn't bravely ran away. We tried to bravely run away and I I died pretty quickly. Um, Ola, she's out at Windseeker Heights. Why is Ola out in Windseeker Heights? That's crazy. Uh, better off waiting for her to come back. Yeah, I think the monsters there are too tough, even for you. Yes, they are. Fuck that shit. I'm not going out there. I was going to give her the mirror, but uh, forget that. Okay, never mind. Let's just use the Wing of Alma and head back to Port Remorge then. 
But now that we've got the, uh, now that we've got that rainbow fragment, we can actually, we bravely ran away. That's something. <laughs> and Sir Robin bravely ran away. I did not. <laughs> let's, uh, let's head back to Port Remorge here. And, uh, <laughs> Heal, and we'll upgrade Irisil. And now we can go into the cave. The cave is actually where we're supposed to be right now. Oh, we got action going on here. Coordinating it was all done through hand signals, but we finally managed to fix the bridge. Ah, so we don't have to go through those tunnels anymore to go back to Quatera. We could just walk over the bridge now. Never thought I'd see the day where we actually ended up working with them tailed freaks. It was kind of surreal then, and it still feels surreal now. Yeah, you call them that, but those, uh, the Reddit tribe, or those tailed freaks, are fucking awesome. Call me crazy, but I didn't just get the impression they were the ones responsible for destroying the bridge. No shit, Saxon. <laughs> I just got back from repairing the bridge. I was surprised how well built some of the Reddit men are. Yeah, some of the Reddit men are, uh, are pretty well built. And, uh, and Kuval looks like a walking Fabio. Uh, I would like to see someone bravely run away IRL. <laughs> oh my god, with those piggies, they look like... Oh, they are so adorable, Serum. We'll go up and say hi to them. They're Pickards. They're in every East game, practically, and they're awesome. And I think in every East game... Yeah, they look like giant guinea pigs, and they're super cute. And I want to say every East game has a side quest where they get lost and you have to track each one of them down. It happens every, every single time. And I think they make them cute so you want to go rescue them. Because if I remember correctly, also the rewards of those side quests are not particularly good either. I always remember thinking like, that's really all I got, but I'm like, but they were super cute. I kind of had to track them down. They're not hamster piggies. I think they are. Uh, let's go check it out again. Uh, hey, you want to find myself in a fight against any of them? That's for sure. It was awkward at first, but I think we can get all along if we try. Agu's a Redden too, after all. Yeah, the Redden are pretty awesome. Okay, since this is coming up. They say Sophia was once of Ramon nobility. It makes perfect sense if you think about it. There's not a finer, more graceful woman on these islands. And how lucky I am to be privy to such gentility. Why, just earlier, we even smiled at each other. I grew weary from spending all that time fixing the bridge, but one smile from her and all my fatigue naturally faded away. And they make cute little sounds. <laughs> they're awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're basically like half pigs, half hamsters. They're amazingly cute. So let's go upgrade our... Oh, hey, Kuval. I'm happy to see you're well, at all. I've known Liev here for quite a long time, so I decided to pay her a visit on my way to see Master Baslam. I've always shipped Kuval and Liev. I don't know if they're an item, but they totally belong together. <laughs> uh, they're probably one of those things that looks cute, but then they have like three hidden rows of sharp teeth. They're secretly the Apex Redditor. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know about that, <laughs> but that would be pretty funny. I wonder if they sell plushies of those hamster piggies. I would guess that they do. I would almost guarantee... Japan has uh, Pickard toys. I'll have to look that up on Amazon to see. Oh, and incidentally, I've also brought Isha with me. Oh, that is interesting. She should be with Rava in his home if you'd like to see her. In other words, hint, hint, that's where the plot will advance. <laughs> I know she's been looking forward to seeing you again. Kuval's, Kuval should have no reason to come here anymore. Oh my god, poor Liev, you have no idea how much Kuval is uh, totally in love with you. He has plenty enough to do with the festival fast approaching. He shouldn't be concerning himself with me. Alright, so let's upgrade Erisil. She is our Emil uh, blacksmith. She can actually make our weapons better. So she's one of our favorite characters in the game. <laughs> for just if For that reason alone. But she's also cool as shit. And yes, I have just enough to make this a level five weapon. Cool. Sweet. So now my two of my weapons are level six and one's level five. Awesome. All right, so let's head back. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's go find the plot and not get distracted by Pickards. At least try not to get <laughs> distracted by Pickards. So yeah, here's Rava, which for anybody, uh, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure everybody here remembers, uh, Rabba was in East 1. Adol, you're back. 
And all of a sudden, Isha actually is kind of like cool with us now, which is always nice. Hey, Adol, what's up? Bet you were surprised to find Isha here, huh? <laughs> she tagged along with Kuval when he was swinging nigh by here on business. They finally fixed the bridge, and I've always wanted to see the town, so... So see, here I am. I thought I'd come to tell Ur about the festival while I was here, too. <laughs> oh, really now? I bet you just came because you wanted to see Adol, didn't you? Isha's face flushed a deep scarlet. Oh, come on, don't tease the poor kid like that. You really have changed, haven't you? When you were little, you were always following Olha wherever she went. But now you'll come all the way to a town like this without her just to see a boy. Oh my god. No, I didn't. <laughs> You're so mean. I hate you. <laughs> er, behave. A real man would never tease a girl like that. Rava, spitting facts. <laughs> I suppose you want to march straight back to Chief Ord and start your training from scratch again? Crap, no way. Anything but that. Dad would kill me if he found out. Oh, yeah, I promised to go meet up with Tease. See ya, Adol. Have a nice time while you're here. Ur is cool. This town isn't anything like I thought it would be. All the houses except this one and leaves are made of stone. I'm surprised Ur's okay with living here. Which do you like more, here or our village? Well, the Reddit village, I'm gonna tell Isha. <laughs> really? I see you're running around adventuring as usual. Oh yeah, Raba knows us all too well. I can't help you with that, but if you have any questions, I'll see what I can do. Uh, actually, do I have any questions? I think I already asked about Zemeth Island. Do you seriously mean to suggest that you were able to reach Zemeth Island? Okay, I think I asked before, but now he gives me different information. The currents are too fast for anyone to get close, so no one to my knowledge has been able to investigate it. What did you find there? I must know. Adol told Raba about the winged statue that he found in the sanctum. I imagine that to be a statue of Alma, the goddess of the spirits, worshipped by the Retta. Well, thank you for dropping by, Serum. I appreciate it. It is always nice to catch up. Thank you for the lurk. I will endeavor to have a lovely rest of my stream. But have a good one, Serum. Thank you for stopping by. Always good to see you. Uh, worship by the Retta. Hmm, still. Hearing about a winged statue just reminds me of the statues in that shrine in Hysteria. Yeah, as it should, Rava. As it should. Come to think of it, I remember seeing a similar statue in Salsetta, too. Oh, you went to Salsetta, but yes. If you did, you would have seen it. What do you think, Adol? Could they all be connected somehow? Uh, yes, they are, in fact, all connected. <laughs> Let's ask about these fairies. I would venture, I guess. I'd say it was the fairies who were responsible for both the bridge and the mirror. What I can't be sure of is what their motive for doing such things could be. What about Geis? A young man of that name visited here once before. He may have had the look of a mercenary, but he was certainly a sharp one. He was utterly enamored by all I had to say about the research here. Come to think of it, he had a number of talismans on him too. And we now saw those talismans. I imagine they're used for some kind of arts. Alright, that's all. Alright. Perhaps now would be a good opportunity to take it easy for a while and rest. We already talked to Isha, but I think... While I crossed over the bridge, I saw something funny. Oh, I'm glad I did it. It looked like some driftwood that was floating out to sea. It ended up stuck and hidden behind the island. <laughs> that is going to be very... Thank you, Isha, for that observation. That's going to be some very nice foreshadowing. I don't think Rose has anything else new to sell us. I think we've bought all the good stuff that she has. Let's look. Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let us head back this way. Let's talk to Baslam real quick. But other than that, I think we need to go to the cave. A cave along the ah, along the Canadian Plains is filled with monsters and near impossible thanks to their impenetrable shells. Their only weakness used to be a bell in the possession of our company. But alas, after we lent it to Professor Raba, his young apprentice misplaced it. Getting through the cave without that bell would be nigh impossible. This could pose a problem. After the repairs were finished on the bridge, a rented envoy came to visit me. Apparently there are reports of a suspicious looking bunch up to no good on these islands. We may have more important things to be using our time with than bickering amongst ourselves. You think, Baslam? <laughs> but never mind that for now. I'm sure you haven't forgotten our agreement, have you? And what about you finding a way to reach Zemeth Island, of course? Adol told Baslam about how he was able to reach Zemeth Island through the ruins of lost time. What? And you say you found the remains of a palace there? With a statue and several glowing pillars inside it? I think I'm going to need to discuss this with Professor Raba. I'm impressed. I was aware that you were an adventurer, but you've done some extraordinary work here. 
All right, a deal's a deal. I'll lend you one of my most prized possessions. And we need that Gratzeos talisman. This is a talisman passed down in my homeland, Altago. With this in your possession, you'll be able to move around freely underwater. You might even be able to go to places you couldn't before. And just so we're clear, boy, I'm only lending it to you. You're gonna have to give it back at some point. But yeah, we we need that. So now let's go to the Redden Village. We're gonna we're going to equip that and head out to Moonlet. Uh, let's let's do two things. We need to equip. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, we don't actually need to equip that talisman. Cool. Okay, so we'll equip the rainbow fragment. That we absolutely need. I mean, the thief glove is nice for the extra gold, but um, but we absolutely need that rainbow fragment. That is completely essential. need that. So now we're going to cruise over here. Let's see about going down here. Where is it? Ah, it's over here. Now we can go down this path. Path leads further too deep to cross. Suddenly the Gratios talisman Adel had borrowed from Baslam began to glow faintly. There we go. Ah, right. There's a cap of water over here. If I remember correctly, cap of water increases our... Oh, okay. It heals all HP and status effects. Raises magic gain to maximum. Okay, so we don't want cap of water in this game. Or we don't want to use it instantly in this game. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. All right. Well, that was nice. Um, don't think. Yeah, we went over there and we, we couldn't really get very far. I do wonder what Easter egg is out that way, though, if we could go up to Windseeker Heights and actually see Olha. But it's really hard to avoid everything over there. Uh, yeah, I'd rather just wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going out that way. <laughs> and they, they blatantly tell you, like, uh-uh, don't do it. You're gonna die. <laughs> okay, but now we could just head up to Port Remor- Um, actually, now that the bridge is out, we're back. Nah, let's just use- let's use the- We'll do some fast travel here. We'll go to the planes. We'll save. We still can't fight that fucking bee. Well, let's go into the... Let's at least go into the cave. And see what we can do in there. Actually, we want to go this way. That's right. That's how that works. Woo. I need ammo. I need as much ammo as I can get. Now we can see. Not that it really matters, because... Everything in here sucks. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Fuck 
fucking poison me instantly. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> yeah, clear my poison, please. Thank you. Uh, all right. So at least we could kill these things this way. Come on, fall down this way. Well, we're certainly getting XP from that. Oh, I hate this cave. I hate this cave. I hate this cave. I hate this cave. <laughs> Seraph hates hates these caves. They're terrible. But it's so close. Okay, I don't think there's anything out that way. Okay. All right. So far, we only had one way direction to go. Shit. I gotta be really careful here. These things hit like a train. You. Okay. So now I got. Oh, fuck. Damn. Everything in here sucks so much. Everything in here sucks a lot. You sped at a bunch of things. I really don't remember ow, what I'm doing. Ow. That hurt. Let's. I mean, they gave you enough. They at least gave you these. Yeah, it'd be nice to have that, uh. Whatever thing that Ur decided. What is that? How do I get to it? Hmm. I don't know how I get to that. Also doesn't help that I really don't remember the layout of this place, other than that it's just huge. Oh, for fuck's sakes. But yeah, without the rainbow fragment, we'd be completely out of luck. And there's a boss in here that's truly terrible. I don't remember. Alright, well, got another herb. That was nice. Yep, there are those assholes. Yeah, the boss that's in here, I remember hating a lot. Alright, well, at least the charge blast of this can do damage to things, so I may as well keep that. Oh, right. Yeah, that's an annoying platform to do. Am I too low level for this area? I mean, they mentioned a bell, right? So that would be how I get to over there. I remember having to do that at some point. That's going to be important for us to do. But still. Right, cool part. Now I can level around. Warp around if I need to. So this is the midpoint. Which we got to just by running around. <laughs> I think... What is this way? Ah! You know what? Let's just go to the monument. It's right over here. Heal from that. Not get hit this time.
I mean, unless I was supposed to go somewhere else instead. I don't think so. Those things are terrible. Damn it. Fuck. Boy, am I glad I saved over here. I am so glad I saved over here. <laughs> that would have been bad. All right, let's try that again. This time without... Man, those things just kill me so fast. Unless I'm in the wrong area. I mean, maybe I am in the wrong area. It seems like the spike of difficulty is a little, uh... High? <laughs> um... I mean, unless I was supposed to get that item they were talking about. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't... It doesn't seem like I should be here, right? Now, granted, I think I'm, I'm, I've managed to hit above my weight a little bit. Unless I'm supposed to get an item. But I thought this is where I needed to be. Yeah. Can't do any damage to those. Let's try and just... Let's try and get out of here, I think. I mean, we have the mirror fragment that allows us to see in here. That's kind of why I thought... You know, hey, this is... Ah, uh, I'm cursed. Fuck, that's annoying. Alright, but that I could live with. That wears off. Let's see. At this point, I just kind of have to avoid things. Because I... Kill me too fast. <laughs> I think I was up here already, though, right? I mean, I could always use the Wing of Alma. Right, that's... Okay, so then here's this. And we could jump over to that side. Okay, let's get rid of that curse, shall we? Let's get rid of that. Get our bloody nail back. Come on, jump off, buddy. You're not going to jump off, are you? Whatever. Okay. So now we're over here. I remember this part. But yeah, if I'm not supposed to be here, I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to be. Uh, fuck this. I, this leads over here. going on here. Yeah, I'm a little I'm definitely a little confused. Oh god. Yep. Nope. Nope. Ow shit. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. Damn. What are where am I supposed to be? I'm level 27. I mean shit, maybe I am supposed to be at Windsaker Hike. Yeah, right? I mean, we could go try to fight that bee again. But I think the bee... I think that bee is going to fuck us up. I think that bee is going to fuck us up something horrible. But let's, uh... Let's try and warp up the magic. Because it might be vulnerable to lightning. Maybe. Maybe. Trying to just get my magic meter up here. Let's take Emil. Mm. Alright, so if we go down that way, that brings us to the mine. I mean, we at least 
managed to get halfway through it without dying. So we can always warp there if we need to. I mean, the fact that I got the rainbow... Aw, oh, fucking thing poisoned me. Bastard. Let's heal from that. Let's see. Ouch. Yeah, no. Not supposed to do that either. Yeah, that bee, that bee still fucking wrecks my shit. I feel like I should... See what happens if I can get my magic meter up here. My magic meter should. Thank you. Let's just try using magic. Oh, come on. Enough with the fucking poisoning. Yep. Now, I do no damage to that fucking thing. All right. Damn. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to be doing? I mean, obviously, when I was playing this game on the regular, I had the sequence of things to do pretty well mapped out. I mean, maybe I am supposed to go to Windseeker Heights, since they mentioned Olha was out there. But I, I don't. I thought Windseeker Heights was later. I mean, why give me the rainbow fragment that allows me to see in the mine, and then not let me go in the mine? I just that's bizarre, right? But I think if we, I, th I feel like I'm supposed to go to... I really do feel like I'm supposed to go to the mine. Unless I'm just somehow so much lower level than there. But let's... I guess let's give this a whirl. Yeah, I'm very, uh... I'm very confused at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got you guys. Let's find out, shall we? My suspicion is I'm going to go here and I'm going to do zero damage to these fucking things. Oh. Uh, never mind. I'm supposed to be here. Shit. I'm supposed to be here. Oh. Okay, that's fucking scary. Okay, never mind. We're supposed to be here. Ha ha ha. Oh, no, no, no. Get me away from that shit. Fuck that guy. Ugh. Would have been nice to have gotten ammo from that, but oh well. I'm getting that. No. No, that fucker. Oh, no. Oh, I hate these things so much. No, I'm going to die. Because I can't fucking move. Heavy, I'm confused. Come on. Come on, wear off confusion. Please, please, please. Okay, thank you. Man, I hate these fucking things. So much. <laughs> oh, fuck you. I killed you, man. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, no. Jesus fucking Christ. Shit. 
and poison me, because, you know, but at least... Okay. This is the only shit. Okay. Deal with the poison. Yeah, my fault. When I saw that thing, I should just run away from it. But what do we got in here? All right, ruin, ruined earring. Let's see what the ruined did. Everything is terrible, right, Rob? <laughs> but no, you were right. Uh, I was totally in the wrong place. Uh, ruined earring. Oh, okay. Made of golden lapis lazuli prevents confusion. Yes, please, and fucking thank you. God, I hate confusion as a status effect. It's the worst. Alright, but at least we're in the right spot. Clearly we're in the right spot now. <laughs> Whoops. I just, I got thrown off because they said... Oh, come on. No, no, no. Uh, jump. At all. Damn it. But at least I'm not confused. Now, if we can get to that emerald before it disappears, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Go grab this. Yeah, weird that, um... The Retta at the gate, of course I'm forgetting his name, would basically be like, Oh, those things are too strong for you. Don't go near there. It's like... You know? And then, meanwhile, in another breath, the game gives you... I thought I would get it. Right? I like levels. <laughs> okay. Well, once we gain levels from going up here and saying hi to Olha. Damn, Damn it. Right, but at least we're getting... Man, we're getting some Mad Emil here. I don't remember which way to go. But you know what? We've been going right, so let's just keep going right and we'll work our way left later. Damn. I this thing so very much. You little bastard. <laughs> Although I think this is actually the way I'm supposed to go. All right, so that's the way we're supposed to go. Let's uh, backtrack a little bit. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's just do it and then I'll explore the rest of this later. So here's Windseeker Heights. And look at that. We were just over on that island. At all? Um, you weren't listening to me play at all, were you? <laughs> I'm just a little embarrassed. My mother taught me how to play the flute when I was young, but I've never quite been able to get the hang of it. So I came here, come here sometimes when I want to practice. There are many dangerous beasts in the surrounding area, but the view here is too wonderful to resist. Wouldn't you agree? And that fucking mountain we were just climbing. The island you could see closest to us is one of the ruins, Seventh Sanctum. And the mountain you could see a bit further in the distance is called Granavallis. The bay on this side of the island has always had such pleasant weather, unlike the opposite shore, closer to the vortex. Perhaps it's because Alma is protecting us from within the sanctum. I'm going to stay here and practice the flute for a while longer. Do take care on your way back, Adol. Um, Adol gave a mirror fragment to Olha. You, you found another fragment? You don't know what this means to me. I'm a failure as a priestess. Without this mirror, I just feel so lonely. As though I can't keep going without it. <laughs> Were my mother to see me like this, I'm sure she would laugh. Pardon me, if you would, forget I said anything. It's not much, but please accept this as a token of my thanks. There we go. Now we got a seed of power. This means more to me than you could ever know at all. May the blessings of Alma be with you. So let's just make sure. Were you able to meet Isha in the Eresian's town? Yes, I was. She was so excited to see you again. Shy as she is, it's hard to believe my little sister would go all the way to an Eresian town the way she did. Part of me's happy that she's breaking out of her cocoon. 
that there's a little part of me that feels lonely too. We're gonna use that. Uh, oh, used as a restorative. Ah, cures heavy, confuse, and curse. Sweet. Let's raise our max strength. Okay, now let's go explore the rest of this area, gain maybe another level or two, and now we'll hopefully be able to fucking handle the stupid cave. Nope, nope. Ah. Okay, double kill. Eh, got heavy again. Oh, I'm so itchy. Not bad of you. Now we go up to the left. Let's see what's over here. Ow, ow. Hey, Adol, why don't you get hit twice with it? Because, you know, once wasn't enough. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, what the fuck is this? We got a boss. Fuck. All right, let's... Let's save. Let's go back and save before having to deal with whatever the fuck that is. That might be optional. It's probably optional. No. Fuck yeah, Mo. The flying insects are the absolute fucking worst. Damn it. I hate when I can see them drop the emel and I'm like, man, I would love that emel if I could just get to it. I think I already went this way, right? I did already go. Yep, I already went this way. Birds got away. If I can get out of here. Save. Granted, I could just use the Wing of Alma and then come back. But I suspect... I suspect I'm going to need... Yeah, we already went up that way. Yep, and this is the way out. Okay. Damn it. Fucking poison. They love to poison my ass. There's Quatera Woods again. Goodness gracious. You. So I think what I'm going to do here. Oops. That. You know what? Courtroom March. Let's heal. And let's upgrade my weapons. Certainly have enough ammo for it. Okay. Oh. Well, let's at least get Irisil to level six. That works. Thank you. Right. It's now another. Once I get to six hundred, I could start upgrading them further than that. Maybe I should have upgraded uh, Berlante a little more than that. Alright, so he gave us the ability to go underwater, which I feel like should be fucking important, also, but anyway. Clean up that, see what I could do. Yep, no, we're good. Alright. Nope, we, we did that. Alright, let's go back over there, and let's save. Go to the Reddit Village entrance. All right, man. Have a good one. Feel better. I think it's time to go see that boss that's over there. Try to kill it. Although, boy, did it have a lot of HP. That thing had a lot of hit points. Like, a lot. <laughs> so I'm uh, thinking we shouldn't be fighting this thing either. But we'll try. Uh, no, this way's to the Moonset, Moonset Beach. 
This is the way to win Secret Heights. Thank you. But at least now we know this was the area we were supposed to go to. We should be able to gain another level here. Damn it! And they just keep sending them. That's the other issue. You. Mm. I hate you guys so much. <laughs> I hate them so much. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. But they do give a lot of XP. So if I could find a good spate good spot to just kill a few of them, gain another level. Got those. As long as I time it, okay, then it's not so bad. Damn. Still hit me. <laughs> Fuck, I suck so much. There we go, though. That's what I wanted. I wanted one more level. All right, here are these three. And there's some sort of crazy boss over here. So let's go find out. That could be a problem. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I fucked up, but... I might have this. But I'm gonna have to... A little bit. All right. I think I'm poisoned, right? I don't know if I'm poisoned. Or not. Oh yeah, I'm poisoned. For sure, I'm poisoned. Do I have to kill these things? I think I have to kill these things. I'm not really sure. Let's find out. Another level. What was the point of this? Why? Why did I do this? <laughs> why? Why did I do this? <laughs> Other than to kill it, uh, I, I guess that was it. All right, well, I guess we gained another level. Um, so, so much for that, I guess. Okay, well, Link of Alma. Let's go back to Port Remorge. Since we have 600 Emil again. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, why did I do this? Why not? I thought there would be something to it, but yeah, I guess it was just an optional boss. But we were able to do it, so that was nice. Let's see what this guy has to offer. I think he can. I think we could sell. We could buy honey from this dude. Yep, we can. We'll buy five. That's fine. That's not terrible. All right. Now let's go over here. Let's upgrade our sword. And let's try and fight that bee boss. 
One more time. <laughs> right? Yeah, let's... This, this is sort of my favorite, so we'll, we'll upgrade this again. We'll go over here, we'll save, and let's try and fuck up that B. And if not, if we still can't, then we'll go back into the mine, and hopefully the extra levels we have will have us better equipped to deal with it. Hopefully. Yeah, someone had to. Someone had to fight that thing. Oh, we do a lot of damage. I think we do more damage with it now. <laughs> so, you know, that's nice. Oh. We got this. Did you give me something? No. Take ammo. Fucking bees, man. Fucking bees. Let's try this. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't believe the fucking thing poisoned me in like two seconds. But yeah, I just want to see if we even have a chance at it. Oh shit. Ow, oh, fucking missed it. Well, yeah, no, we still, no. We can hit it though. We did damage. We did damage that time. But yeah, no, it, it is still pretty bad. Yeah, no, let's get the hell out of here. Um, oh, you know what? Let me at least try and hit it with the fucking. Okay, yeah, we did like no damage to that thing. Okay, so it's still pretty bad. That's fine. Let's, let's go to the lime water cave. Let's go to the entrance. Let's go to the entrance. Let's see, let's see how we're doing now. So as you can see, we can't siege for shit. It's pretty fucking dark. But, we go in here. And yeah, now we can see. Now we're doing okay here. Yeah, we did need those extra levels. Yeah, we needed the extra levels. It was it was deceptive because we were doing just okay to kill the slimes, but we couldn't really do much against anything else. Hello, Cleo. Oh. That fucking thing was hanging out up there until I went to pet my cat, and then it was like, aha, I have my chance while the human is distracted by the cat. <laughs> Hello, Cleo. Hi, oh, you're gonna bite my leg. Yeah, oh, I love you too, sweetie. I got another, I got another slime coming close, so. Yep, oh, good girl. Rub your ass, rub your face. Oh, I love you too. Sorry, cat, cat needs a pet. <laughs> cat needs a pet. All right, now I think we're better equipped to deal with this fucking mine. This time, though, I think we'll go right. I think we'll go right this time. Try and figure... Oops. Yeah, we're definitely... We're much better equipped. Ugh. Of course, I got poisoned. Oh, right. I'm not where I thought I was. these assholes really quick. See them. Hmm. Feel me? Actually, let's save. So that was some good XP we just got. We might even still be underleveled just considering... Damn it. Ah! Oh. I wonder if I've got an item that makes me immune to poison. Do I? Is there something that makes me immune to poison? 
prevents confusion, prevents curse, prevents heavy. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked, aren't I? Yeah, that would be nice. Considering... We're still gaining a lot of XP for these things. Like, a lot. I feel like I'm getting a shit ton of XP for these. Oh, look at that. I can upgrade another one of my weapons to level 7. Honestly, I'll probably just upgrade Levert to level 7. See that. <sighs> Let's do that really fast. They were nice enough to give us enough things to cure our frickin' poison effect, though. That was part that was nice. We're getting close to killing those slimes in at least two of those charged hits. We're getting better. Upgrade Levart. Go. Perfect. Alright. And then we'll upgrade Irisil next time we get to 600 ml, which is not going to be long at this rate. I mean, shit, it could go to the midpoint, but I want to make sure we're not missing stuff. And that boss, man. The boss in this is one of the worst bosses in the game, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I fucking hate this fucking thing. You son of a bitch! I even went further over there so I wouldn't get hit. Bastard. Oh, I've got nine of those, huh? Cool. So I guess if they poison me, I shouldn't really hesitate to use those fucking flowers. There. Okay, here. Whoops. Come on. You. Doing better against those guys. Okay. I knew it the second I wound up for that. They give me enough of these. Damn it. Oh shit! They're stun locking me. That's super lame. That, you little bastard. I'm gonna gain another level. Alright, so there's nothing off to the... Nothing over to the east here. Man. I definitely am... I, I probably still am under level for this area. Probably why I'm... Struggling a little bit, but we're getting closer. Oof, that was close. We're getting closer. I just don't know what I should be doing. Bastard. 
actually. Of course, I need to stop getting poisoned. And we got red slimes now. Ah, fused. Gotta hate confusion. Granted, that'll wear off in a minute. That was pretty fucking sweet. Take that, you little bastard. <laughs> What was nice about that is he couldn't run anywhere, so at that point I knew I had him. Come on, Paul. I missed him. Thank you. Wow, I could upgrade uh, Iracil too while I'm at it. Ah, here we go. Let's see, what do we got? I'll take the wild foul meat. Cool, cool. Got all this. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm not even sure what that does, but... Backtrack this way. We just spent all that time fighting you guys. I really don't feel like fighting you at the moment. Oh, it really weakens you when you're cursed. Gotcha. All right, so I'm going to wait for the curse to wear off. Yeah, we were already in this room. I don't think there's anything else that we're really looking for while we're waiting for this curse effect to wear off. At this point, I'm just exploring. Now, once we get to that midpoint again, the uh, things with the beams that were really fucking wrecking our shit. Ooh, that's probably good. Let's go try and get to that, if we can. Let's see if I can get around to that. Uh, is this ever going to wear off? Maybe that's an effect that doesn't wear off. Fine. <laughs> um, but we could disable... Uh, we'll unequip the rainbow fragment. And then they have a completely different form that is a lot less dangerous. So the only reason they teleport is because of the rainbow fragment, which is interesting. Keep going down this way. Should be able to get to that treasure chest. Hold. Oh. Yeah, I'd rather not fight that. Just go this way. Gotta be around here somewhere. Oh. Probably over this way somewhere. Yeah. That's the problem, it just runs so fast. Was around here somewhere. Yep, there you are. What are you? Okay. Well, that looks awesome. There it is. Yeah, our defense just went up by 10. Sweet. Oh. But if we equip it, it poisons us, doesn't it? Poisons where? Awesome. Okay, well, fine, fine, it's totally cool. Thanks for giving me an item I can't use. That's super awesome. That's, that's awesome, that's awesome, that's great. You know what, yeah, that's fine. One more cave, let's go to the midpoint. Damn, 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 damn. Ah, uh, 
Fuck. <laughs> I know there's an item that prev that prevents poison. Because if you combine that with the Gaba armor, then you're not poisoned anymore. And I know I've used the Gaba armor. I just don't remember where the other item is. Let's go upgrade Aerosil. Shit, I hope that wasn't the thing I missed up at Granavallis. That would be lame. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Upgrade really fast, though. Brink, brink, don't mind me. Zoom, zoom. So it's not really that big of a game, but you could see how it takes a while to do things because you're constantly backtracking to um, strengthen your stuff. Yeah, let's go. I think let's go to the midpoint. Unless I've missed something in the entrance area, which I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Yeah, that's the only effect of that is that. I think this is just critical here. Did I save it? Let's go back and save. Let's go back and save. We probably won't be at this all that much longer, but I I do kind of want to just check out more of this cave just to see what I might be missing. Nah. Yeah, this is... Fuck. Fuck, man. Fuck. This area sucks so much. Alright, so let's... Yeah, we'll just equip that for right. Well, actually, no, let's equip. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll prevent curse, so we won't be able to see as much. Still can't damage those, but now those things don't. Oh my god! Damn it! But now they have a slightly different appearance. Now they just. They don't fire those beams. They're just like little shadow things. But yeah, no, they still wreck my fucking shit like nothing else, man. Holy Christ. All right. So this being the case. Man, crazy. Um, all right. Let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. Because yeah, those things kill me so fucking fast. I mean, unless it's just run through that area as fast as you can. Maybe that's the name of the game. Maybe the name of the game is run past that area as fast as I can. Try not to die. Might be. We could try doing that in a minute. Let's see. Let's try going this way. Just in case there's a, uh, an item I'm supposed to have. That I'm just missing. Man, we already got that. Shit. Hmm. Oops. Yeah, I missed that. I missed time to. Okay, there's this. We can't get up there. Just yet. I think we get around that from the other direction. Oof. Holy moly. Bastard. Fuck. Fucking confusion. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the midpoint. Let me just try. Let's try unequipping the rainbow prism really fast. I just want to see. Just for my amusement here. 
Let's see if we could just try to avoid things. Granted, it's harder to see. Damn, still can't do any damage to them, but at least they're not uh, able to fire those. Oh, fuck. Yeah, everything here does, does crazy damage. But yeah, now the spiders are... Ow! Man! Okay, so it's just... Yeah, that's pretty un... That's not, that's not a sustainable plan. All right, let's try... I know it's weird to try to keep doing this. Where's the ghost? Oh, no, it's not the other. It's not the one I want. I wanted the other one. That's fine. Marge. Oh. Oh, one last try, and if we can't even do damage to the bee monster. What we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll call it there. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just try to, um, farm for levels. It could just be that I'm just under leveled. And that, um, what I'm supposed to do is just hang out at the early part and, uh, level up a little bit. Because that's obviously the level where, that's obviously the place we're supposed to be. It, it, it is. That's where we're supposed to be. Uh, it's unfortunate we're getting our ass kicked, but um, I don't see I don't see any other feasible. I mean, unless I missed an item early on in the mine. But if I uh, but if I farm in that earlier area, what might happen is um, God, if I could find a fucking thing that would prevent poisoning, that would be so nice. All right, let's see what we do with this B. Damn, really? Jesus, it still just does so much damage to us. Fuck. Yeah, no, we, we don't got it. We don't got it. All right, time to return to title. We did save it, so that's the good news. Let's exit. Let's see who's on. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we raid out to somebody. I'm not super tired, but uh, but it's definitely. It's definitely time for that to be at an end here. So, uh, but yeah, in any event, I want to thank everybody while I get this all wrapped up here. Let's get to the ending stream. Let's see who we want to raid out to. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. It was fun. Uh, looks like, oh, Darkstar's still on. Let's raid out to Darkstar. Fuck yeah. Usually he's not up this, uh, this late. So yeah, it'll definitely be fun to raid out to Darkstar. Let's do it. Or uh, hopefully... Watch me raid him and then he raids for like raids in like 10 minutes, but whatever. Uh, let's see how uh, let's see how Shining Force is doing. And in any event, uh, channel update here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming on Saturday or not. I haven't quite um, done as much uh, schoolwork as I really had hoped to get accomplished this week. So I may or may not stream on Saturday, but I will stream on Sunday regardless. So until then, I hope everybody has a great one. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you for spending some time with me and enjoying East. And I will talk to you all approximately later. Have a good one.